What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. A lot of people are very concerned about Mozilla and Firefox's brand new changes to their privacy terms and other things like that, rightfully so. And if you're one of the very many disgruntled users and you want to switch to something better while still staying in the Firefox ecosystem, then there's many open source alternatives and forks that you can go to. The closest and most widely recommended is LibreWolf. This is essentially just Firefox, but more privacy focused with all of the latest features, bells and whistles, etc. It's just got tracking and things like that taken out, which is good. If you want to stay in the Firefox ecosystem, this is probably your best bet. And the best part is because it's a fork of Firefox, you can actually lift pretty much everything, including your current logins. So I'm logged in on Twitch, YouTube, and of course I have some saved passwords, history, bookmarks, etc. All of this can be moved across to LibreWolf very easily. First of all, in the description down below, download LibreWolf. You'll find a link to this page, head across to installation, followed by choosing Windows or whatever operating system you're using. Then simply download the latest installer. You can even get a portable version downloaded on the Microsoft Store or through one of the many alternative package managers. I'll just download the installer and do it this way. Opening the installer, just click through this as such, wait for this to finish, which could take a short while. And once it's done, you can make a desktop shortcut and launch your brand new installation of LibreWolf. And as you can see, it's completely deep loaded and it comes pre-installed with only uBlock Origin, nothing else. How exactly do we get our bookmarks, current logins, and everything like that from our original Firefox installation to here? First of all, if you use Firefox Sync, head into the burger button in the top right, followed by settings. Then search for Sync, enable Firefox Sync here, so tick, and restart LibreWolf. Once that's done, search again for Sync. This time you'll see Sign Into Sync and this new icon up here. Either way, sign into your account, which will be your normal Mozilla account. And just like that, you're signed in, your settings and things like that should soon be transferred. However, of course, if things don't come across, click the profile icon in the top right and wait for everything to sync. You can use the Sync Now option and Sync Settings to see what's currently being synced. Use Manage Sync and enable everything you wish in Firefox. So in Firefox, I'll click the profile button or account button followed by sync settings, manage sync and make sure everything I want to be synced is ticked. Then I'll choose sync now to upload everything that we've currently got on my existing Firefox installation here. Once syncing is complete, head back to LibreWolf, back to the sync page, manage sync and make sure your options match here. Mine do, so we'll click sync now and everything that's on the cloud should be downloaded to our system here. So so for example, expanding my add-ons or extensions, you can see I've got this extension that's just installed here. Manage extensions, here we go, it's been transferred across. If we check my history with Control H, my history's actually come across too. Yeah, if we go back to settings and search for password, followed by saved passwords, you can see my passwords have successfully been migrated across here. Not to mention, if we go to YouTube, you'll see that I've been signed out. The same goes for Twitch. If you use the usual sync method, unfortunately, your current signed in sessions won't be transferred. Only your saved passwords, history and bookmarks, as well as a few other things will be transferred as well. Something else we can do is manually transfer files and our profile from Firefox to LibreWolf. To do this, start by going to your previous Firefox installation and in the URL bar, use the URL about colon profiles. Once you head here, you'll see the file locations of your profiles on your system. Inside of here, look for the profile that you're currently using. Odds are, if you haven't done anything special, it'll probably be default release. You'll see whichever profile you're currently using has, this profile is in use and cannot be deleted. Once you've found the correct one, open both the root directory and the local directory by using these two buttons here. I've got both of them here, the root on the left and the local on the right. I'll put them aside for now and we'll close out of Firefox completely. Then inside of LibreWolf, we'll once again use about colon profiles and once again, find the profile in use and open both of these folders. So root and local. Now that we've opened both of these for both Firefox and LibreWolf, close LibreWolf and make sure we have LibreWolf's folders open, probably at the bottom of your screen and Firefox's profiles at the top. As you can see here, all we need to do is in the LibreWolf folders, head back one to just profiles as such, and then we'll rename the default profile here to hyphen backup or something like that. I'll do the same for this one here, hyphen backup, 
And now all we need to do is head back to the profiles folder just by heading up one folder for both Firefox folders here and copy these down to LibreWolf. This may take some time as these folders might be quite large, but as soon as it's done, we can close our Firefox windows up here and inside the LibreWolf ones, simply find our backup folder, rename it and copy everything before our hyphen backup. And now we'll be replacing the Firefox folder that we just copied in with the original name up here. So we've essentially just swapped the files. By doing this for both of these as such, the next time we launch up LibreWolf, we'll have exactly the same saved profiles, options, and the rest as Firefox. So LibreWolf, once it opens, here we go. Extensions, the same. History, the same. Bookmarks should be the same. And if we head across to YouTube, for example, without any editing, you can see that I'm now signed in, even though it's light mode now. If we go to Twitch, I'm signed in here as well. Not to mention our settings followed by password, saved passwords. We should have them here too, but I think something weird happened with, I guess, encryption. I wouldn't recommend re-enabling sync as for some reason when I did that, it seemed to log me out of everything and break a few things. But what we can do instead is inside of Firefox, head into our saved passwords using the hamburger button followed by passwords. And in here, clicking the three dots in the top right followed by export passwords, then continue and save the CSV file to someone like your desktop. Then inside of LibreWolf, hamburger button, passwords, here you should be able to click the three dots in the top right, followed by import from a file and choose the CSV file we just exported. But for some reason, my passwords seem to have appeared here without me having to do anything. Just the thought of me importing passwords has magically brought them back, which is good. Now, obviously there's probably more official ways of doing this, exporting and importing profile settings, but this is just what worked for me. Of course, as they're both based on the same browser, we just copied the data from Firefox to our new installation of LibreWolf and everything came across with it. There may be some oddities like certain settings don't match exactly up as LibreWolf may have slightly different names and things like that. But for the most part, we've picked up one browser and quite literally just one-to-one -one moved it to another. That's it. As for the performance of LibreWolf, it should be almost exactly the same, if not better than Firefox, because it's quite literally the same engine, the same version, just with a couple more privacy focused tweaks and things like that. But anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Of course, do let me know down below if there's a more official way of doing this. This is just what worked for me. And if you want to do it, now you know how. And of course, if you wish, in the future, you've got both Firefox and LibreWolf installed with the same profile. So if you ever wish to switch back, just open up Firefox and continue them. I wouldn't recommend copying your profile from LibreWolf to Firefox. Going away from Firefox is probably fine, but going back might cause a few issues and a few weird things to happen. But anyways, that's really it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.